congratulations on the film. It's a stunning film, very scary. There was a story last week about these clowns yes. going around in the US scaring people. We covered it here. We, we spoke to Snuggles. We did. Uh, <laughs> the clown. Yeah, I heard. I saw the episode. Yeah. I was so like... there, were, there was rumours that it was going to be a marketing campaign for a film. Are you guys behind this? <laughs> Oh, yeah, totally, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was all that, all the gimmick. The timing's nice, though, isn't it? Yes, yeah, great, it works perfectly. I was thinking of dressing up as a clown to go to Halloween, but that doesn't seem like it's uh, so <laughs> relevant now. No, that <laughs> may actually really scare people, yeah. so maybe don't. Oh, it's, it's actually getting it is, properly scary now. Um, but your characters are both very relatable. And there's a whole bully, bullying thing. Bully. I don't know what you call someone who's being bullying. Bullied. There's that sort of thing going on. Did you guys ever experience that and draw on that from your time at school? Uh, I don't know. Whenever you go to school, there's always a bit of banter, but I don't think anyone's gone through what Jonah went through. I mean, mm. I'm sure there are people that have, but it's kind of... He's a very strange boy, and he handled it in a very strange way. It's kind of like... It, it's his own experience, and as such, you need to draw from a place that you really haven't gone before. At least that's my experience, I don't know. And your yeah. school, you're still at school. You've got, you're in the middle of your Year 12 exams at the moment. Yeah. How hard is it to study when you're a big, big movie star promoting your movies? Oh, I don't know. At the moment, I really need to focus on school, just because you're coming to the end of it, and you need to uh, you need to focus on it, and yeah. you know, to make sure that you're educated. Your and, oh, my next exam is theatre studies, actually. Oh, well, that's good. They really can't give you anything but an A on that, can they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> how how did it feel getting a standing ovation uh, in Venice at the film festival? Oh, it was incredible. Everyone just... Uh, it's like the code of ethic in Venice that um, at the end of your film you have to stand up in the middle of the cinema and everybody there applauds you. And they did it for about ten minutes. And you have oh. these huge spotlights shine down on you and you just have to stand there and kind of take it. Did you believe that was really happening? No, not at all. Now that I think about it, if we just sort of sat down, I think they probably would have stopped clapping. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, we, we milked it. We milked it. It was good. It went well. Yeah, but it was an incredible reception. Yeah, did, I like did. this convention, though. I think, I think we should implement it here. I was standing up myself over there. We'll run out of time for the guys. Now, now, now Gully, you, you're only 18. We mentioned you're doing your 12. You've worked with some pretty big names, right? So, Scorsese, Spielberg, Tim Burton. Who was your favourite? We won't oh, tell the I'll other two. That's not fair. It is fair. <laughs> oh, they're all so charming and wonderful. I can't pick between them. They, they all had their moments. They really did. I they mean... all had their moments? <laughs> <laughs> They'll all turn out OK if they stick at it? Like, what? <laughs> well, what about some of your favourite actors you worked with? Because you worked with Daniel Day-Lewis and Lincoln, yeah? Yeah, I have a couple of stories about that, actually. Um, Do tell. <laughs> yeah, um, I remember, actually, after I finished filming the last episode, I wrote him a little letter to say thank you, because he was so nice to me. And, like, Aww. he was supportive of me and my mum being there. Like, She's a neuroscientist, so um, he was telling her to go back to neuroscience instead of, um, you know, I don't know. Hanging and, out um, with your talented son. <laughs> exactly. Um, and um, I don't know, it was this lovely experience, and like, I got to call him Papa, even though everyone else called him Mr. <laughs> President, which was a bonus. You called him Papa? Wow. Yeah, I did. You know, it's kind of to help him get in character. He was always in character, and it was amazing. Yeah. It was just beautiful to watch. But anyways, I read him this letter on the last day of shooting, and it was this... this a nice little letter to say thank you and it was a pleasure working with you. And in return, he gave me this note that just said, you know, it was lovely working with you. Um, and he called me by my character's name. And he gave me this 18th century sailor's knife that he'd had since he was 20. Wow. And I've still got it um, with me today. And it's this beautiful thing and it's this lovely gesture. And it, I don't know. Oh. I, I would get that locked up now if I was you. I, I, I would... <laughs> it's in a chest in my house. Well, congratulations yeah, on the success yeah, of the film. Boys in the Trees is released nationwide October 20. We better let you go study. You've got your exam <laughs> exactly. coming up. Would you please thank Toby Wallace and Gulliver McGrath? <laughs>